few people asked me about how I set it up so I thought I'd put some of that on video as well um, basically when you get the extension this is what it'll come with is the sluice, the mats, two legs and you'll have two wing nuts up this end now I can see a few different ways of attaching it um, the way we did it was say the actual underneath of the excavator pinches the start of the UR mat it just holds it in a little bit better um, to get it out you might need to lift the extension end up a little bit when you pull the mat out but I don't really have a problem doing that but if you see that has been a problem just don't tuck the mat in what we did was we took the wing nuts out we set the extension up on the end of the excavator tried to line it up straight marked a few holes drilled out the holes that's where the bolt goes through and you attach it with the wing nut unfortunately one of our holes was off on this side so we had to re-drill just to get it straight but um, it really wasn't a big thing or hard to do um, Alright, I'm going to put it together. As soon as I'm by myself, I'll probably just take a bit more after I've put it together and show you what I mean. Okay, this is with the extension um, set up now. So as you can see, the outside goes around the excavator. I don't know if you can see underneath. I've got the mat pinching beneath the underneath of the extension and the sluice itself. I'll raise the back runs a little bit longer, but if I pull that back, you'll see what I mean. The UR is just sitting underneath the lip of the extension. Eventually, I think I'm going to trim this razor back, back and so it does hit the UR before the um, river hog, but I'll run it a few more times like this before I um, fix it up. Got the place to myself again today. I'm going to hurry up and get digging before it gets too late. Or later. Alright, well, been digging for 5 or 10 minutes. This is the um, excavator with the extension. You can see where the river hog starts, gives it that bit of a lip. Big branch there to slow everything down. I don't know how well you can see, but down in behind there you see a tail of light coming out like that. I don't know if that's good or bad. Get razor back, scrubber. This is the bedrock mat. I do like the look at that. I must say. Not tough, I've got minor pods. A little bit of a standard over the top of it, and it's probably straight over that. And let it sit in the moss a bit. I've just seen the fine notes that go in the moss. Um, I always think about trying to shut down later, just pining out, panning out the moss and leaving the nuts set up unless the soil is gold sitting on it. And it's saving a bit of time in the cleaning out for it. It took me ages to set up today because I'm by myself, so I don't know if that will really get to dig. See if we can put up one arm shovel through. Oh, half shovel full. So I'm quite happy with the way it's all working. Um, for me it is just more peace of mind than anything else. Um, most of our gold is still found up the top, so I guess the longer sleeves you got, the more peace of mind you got. A little bit more stuff around if you've got to carry it anywhere.
Uh, I'm going to do some more digging so I've at least got some gold at the end of the day. I don't know how much I'm going to get to record. It's because I'm by myself. More later. Well, this was the take. Isn't too bad. I can manage to about half a gram. I've got to clean down a little bit more, but it wasn't too bad at all.